To walk into this building was to walk into danger. Undergoing renovation, the building was riddled with unguarded floor openings. A carpenter would fall 29 feet through one of them and be seriously injured. Ladders were used to gain access to the upper floors. None of the ladders were secured for stability. But worse, they shouldn't have been used for access. Instead, a stairway should have been built to access each level as it was constructed. Firm A, who owned the four-story building and was the prime contractor, hired a general contractor to do the renovation. The general contractor secured the sub-trades and also employed workers, including the carpenter and an apprentice, a young worker. On the day of the incident, the carpenter and apprentice had been building a pony wall like this one inside the attic. The general contractor wasn't on site, however the principal of Firm A was. While on the fourth floor, he said to the apprentice, it's a long way down there. The principal left and the workers carried on with their work. Holding a nail gun, the carpenter stood on an eight-foot stepladder next to the opening. The ladder began to shake. The carpenter fell, landing on the floor, then falling through the opening down to the second floor. The apprentice immediately climbed down a ladder to the second floor. The carpenter lay on the floor, seriously injured. The apprentice called 911. The first responders arrived, but the lack of stairs complicated and delayed the rescue. Eventually, the carpenter was transported to hospital by ambulance. The investigation found that 1. The floor opening wasn't covered or guarded to prevent falls from elevation. Floor and roof openings through which workers can fall must be securely covered or be guarded by guardrails. Consider covers first, as they eliminate the hazard. Covers should be of adequate size and strength, nailed down or otherwise secured and well marked. Guardrails can be a second choice. They must be 40 to 44 inches above the work surface and include a mid-rail. If you're on stilts or a work platform, you need to make the guardrails higher or use a personal fall protection system. If it's not practicable to have a cover or guardrails, you must use a personal fall protection system when working near the opening. Two, a fall protection system wasn't used despite there being a fall hazard of about 21 feet. You must use a fall protection system when work is being done where a fall of 10 feet or more may occur. Three, the choice of equipment was inappropriate. The ladder was too short for the task as the carpenter, in order to reach up to the attic, stood on the top step or cap. If work can't be done from a ladder without danger to the worker, a work platform, such as a scaffold, must be provided. Four, the supervision was inadequate. The general contractor allowed the workers to work in the area while being exposed to a fall hazard. Supervise workers to ensure their health and safety. The prime contractor was responsible for coordinating and maintaining health and safety at the site and didn't have a coordinated plan or system to ensure that fall hazards, such as the floor openings, were properly managed. Cover or guard floor openings, and when they aren't covered or guarded, use a personal fall protection system. 